This is the third picture. I'm going to show you how to do this one a little bit quicker. Um, here's the original uh, finished product. And this is the original, what I started with. So the first thing I did was create a heel layer just like we've done on the other photos. And you can see that I got rid of a lot of the spots and scratches and whatnot in that picture. Then I wanted to lighten Grandma's teeth. I did that by creating a hue saturation layer that can be found here in the adjustment level. Adjustment, but under the adjustment button, go down to hue saturation, and it will come up. This area right here, your layer mask will be white. If you hit Control and I at the same time, that will change it to black. Will inverse it. Then I used a white paintbrush and painted in over where the teeth were, and move the saturation down here to about eight, minus 18, set the opacity to 48 so it wasn't so stark, and I was happy with that. The next layer, I wanted to get rid of some of this blotchiness on the child's chest here, and so I just created another new layer, picked up the paintbrush here, set the opacity down to about 10% or so, and picked up a color using my alt button and my little dropper here I chose a color that was in here and I just smoothed in the tones a little bit just painted over them so that I could fill in where the splotchiness was and so this is that's the final product and what it looks like so the next layer is to get is a clone layer and I wanted to get rid of this person here in the background and so in order to do that and not uh, clone over the baby and grandma I needed to create a layer mask so I created a new layer and then I used the selection tool here selected grandma selected the baby Come on. Oops, it's at minus here. We'll have to do plus. Select the baby here. Come on. There we go. Fill around in. It's selecting very small. Make my brush a little bigger here. We're selecting right now. And then I'll bring it back down to small and go to minus and I'll get rid of this area right here. So that's what I did. I cleaned it up a little bit like going over the ear here and made sure I had what areas I wanted to. I'm not so worried about collecting all the information, selecting everything up above here because I'm not going to be cloning up here. This area that I want to be most careful with is the area that's going to be affected by the clone which will be right along here on the baby, right along here on the baby, and on here on grandma. Everything else is going to be staying pretty much the same, so I'm not worried about it. So once I've selected them, I'm going to go to the Levels Adjustment button here, click it, and I will get a Levels Adjustment layer here, a layer mask, and but the layer mask is excluding, it's black over here, so it's excluding all this and including the baby and grandma. I want just the opposite, so I'm going to hit Control and I, and it will do the opposite. We'll hit that back again. Before I actually do that, I want to put a little bit of a feather on the outside edge here so that it will smooth in there. So I'm going to go here to select Refine Edge, and I'm going to give it this little uh, 3.2 pixel feather. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to hit Control I. Now I've got a little bit of feather out there and, and so it will work well. So I hit up the clone tool here and um, just to show you how this works, I'm going to get a nice big thing here and I'm going to choose an area here and I'm going to come over here and, oops, I'm in the wrong place. I keep doing this. I want to make sure I select the, uh, the layer where I'm going to be doing my picture. So I pick up here my clone and then I come over here and start 
phoning it in. And you can see that I'm not getting my baby there. Now there's some... I've, this is, I've done this really quick so I've, it's not exactly perfect. I would smooth this out so that I don't have the little jumps in there and I would come along later after I've done all of this cloning and use the uh, white and I click on my layer mask and use the white and black um, paint brushes to clean up this edge so I would probably want to have a little this showing so I would clean that up and I would come in here with a small brush and I would just okay So I would come in here and um, here we go, and I would clean up. Make sure you've got your paintbrush on here, and it's white. And I would just clean this up a little bit so that it shows. I got my opacity down to ten percent, and that would explain what's happening here. So I would come in here and just clean up that edge. Now that's not perfect and I fiddle with it a little bit black and white and black and white and go back until I had the ear perfect to where I was comfortable with it. Um, I would use a slightly um, softer brush, soft edge brush, probably this five here, so that I would get a little bit of a feather to it as I'm cleaning it up. So anyway, I would fiddle with that until I was really comfortable with the way the edge looked and so I would have this final result that looks nice. Then I would start with my um, restoration layers. So I would do my multiply layer which is just your levels adjustment set to a blending mode of multiply. Then I would do another levels adjustment setting my um, setting it to screen and I adjusted the opacity down here to 29% because it was a little bit too much when it was at 100% and then I went in and I created the control I created a, um, a merge layer using control alt shift and E I added a layer mask hit control I so it was all black and used the white paintbrush at a very low 10-25% opacity and smoothed in the face and uh, colored over where the face was, the skin tones were, so that they were a little bit smoother. And that's how I finished that up.